Guys, so this is what the wig looks like after it. I washed it last night and it dried down. So the curls did fall, but you are still able to see them. Which I feel like I'm okay with. I'm currently getting ready. I don't have a lot of time because I just don't. I played around and now I just don't have a lot of time left. So I need to like, I gotta glue the wig down too because I'm like, I want it to stay on me, on me. So I'm getting myself together. No, I don't want to wear this pants. I don't like it. I need to. Hey, Siri. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Okay. This pants honestly just needs to go. I don't need to tell her to remind me to do anything with it. It honestly needs to go. I honestly feel like at this point in the day, I'm gonna miss the bus because I can't find the pants that I normally wear. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Spoke too soon. When I wear this one, I have to wear my leg warmers because um, this one is a little bit short in the leg area, and I love it. So I have to put my leg warmers on to kind of make up for the fact that it's short in that department. I have my lunch and everything else with me. a little bit of a mess right now. We're doing a comb. I was going to vlog but doing is coming so yeah maybe later. Hi guys so today I decided to actually stick the front of my wig on because when I don't just freezing spray so something real quick when I don't it's like all the way up to my hairline, like right at my hairline. And I don't like that. I like it to be a little bit in front of my hairline, just a little bit. Anyways, I just have this handkerchief or bandana around it to kind of keep it for right now. I'm super early and um, I have started getting ready, but I also have been doing some shopping lately and that's gonna be a vlog on its own that I'm gonna show you guys all the things that I have gotten. Well, I think I said that I wanted to go buy something today. I just can't remember what exactly it is that I wanted to buy. Anyways, I'm pretty much getting ready for work. Last night when I came home, I was just here um, pretty much chilling. We, we got home a little bit late because I was out actually buying some stuff. And then when I got here, I just ate some cereal and I was on the phone with my friend and my sister for a hot little minute and then just end up going to bed. But I was up until late because I knew that this morning I would have been able to sleep in because this morning I go in a little bit later. Also just realized on my schedule that Saturday I go in at 12 o'clock too. Which I feel like is good because the night before I can actually stay up for a little bit and still be fine in the morning when I wake up. So great. Love that for me. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put my clothes on and just lay around for a little bit until like 11 o'clock. Because right now it's 9.21. Let me show you guys. 9.21, okay. So, I have so much time on my hands because I work at 12 today and I woke up from earlier this morning, ate breakfast and everything. I don't know why my body hates me so much to the point where it gets me up super early. Anyways, since we are up, we're gonna deal with it. So I'm already and everything, but I've really just been laying in bed. Like, it was such a bad idea to wake up early and start getting ready from early because the fact that I started getting ready from early, like I was ready at nine o'clock. And on a regular day, I work at like 9.30 and right now it's 10.15 and I, I don't leave here until like sometime after 11 to actually get to work on time and stuff like that. So now I just feel like, damn, I just got to lay here because it's just 10.15 and got to wait a while. Maybe I should just slept for this hour. I don't know, but I don't even feel sleepy right now. I'm not going to feel sleepy until I get there, of course. But yeah, I'm ready. I really feel like sometimes the universe just isn't in your favor. So look how I woke up early and I was just here chilling like a villain. And, you know, the moment I decided that, all right, it's time to go. Let me get up and put my jacket on and stuff like that. 
one of my nails flipped the hell off and today i'm working the register and what i'm not gonna do is be up there at the register giving people back their change looking hella ratchet so of course i had to jump and glue it on now i'm subjected to taking the bus that comes at 11 32 and it takes 30 minutes to get to work and i work at 12 o'clock see how i'm just in shambles right now and let me tell you i was not gonna go up in there with my fingernail looking crazy no not doing that at all so bus is coming like six minutes away or so and i'm about to walk out the block and just go take it at one point i was considering just ubering and i found an uber for 50 percent off which was seven dollars and something but when i think about the 275 that i'm gonna pay on the bus i'm like um yeah with all the other shopping i've been doing i think i'll just save the five dollars and go take the bus and get there just right on time I'm not doing this it's like sometimes you just can't win I was here this whole time and the nail decided to pop off just when I'm ready and the wig was acting up just now. Say so. Stop it. Right now. And of course, I'm in there just now trying to tell y'all about my troubles and the bus is literally a minute away. So there is a high possibility that I might just miss it and end up having to Uber. Anyways, <laughs> yo, the luck I have walking around with. <laughs> I'm telling y'all about this luck I'm casually just bouncing around the world with and watch it come here and be kind of full like what the hell is going on i just had it am i even in focus hi guys so i'm casually just decked out in both pink and satin or silk whatever this material on the bonnet and on my robe is because i came home and i showered and just my thicker robe for the winter is in the wash because the other night I was eating something and it kind of fell on there and then it fell on there up to right here. So if I hold my head down, <laughs> sorry. So if I hold my head down, I smell it because it's right on this side here. So I put that in the laundry bag and that needs to be dropped off one of these days so those stuff could be washed. So, um... Yeah, because I'm trying to get the laundry done more often to more often than like once per month because the bags are always done big and that's not really it right now. So <clears throat> I'm here just casually chilling this <laughs> this morning. I was expressing my troubles when I was on my way to work. So I ended up ca catching the bus and um, I wasn't I, I got there like literally right at 12 o'clock. So um that was that and what else it was not full i end up getting a seat i feel like i'm always so annoyed when i go and it's like super full and because it was 12 o'clock in the day too i was like oh my gosh please make it not full right now because where's everybody going at 12 o'clock in the day so it wasn't today i felt like i was super tired i was also planning to come home and fix my nail but right now it's not really acting up no more so i'm just like all right i'm gonna just leave it until it decides to come off again hopefully it doesn't come off before um thursday because i'm uh, i work tomorrow and then i'm off thursday so i could if it comes off tomorrow when i'm leaving work amazing because i could come home tomorrow night and actually do it or i could do it thursday morning right so i just needed to stay put for right now because uh, I'm especially because I'm working the register tomorrow also washed my wig I take my wig off I think I've said this before but I take my wig off at night I'm not sleeping in these wigs if I go somewhere one night and end up come home coming home late and like literally have to be at work at 9 30 in the morning of course I'm gonna keep the wig on because it's not that serious I'm gonna wake up and brush it in the morning and be ready to go because sometimes it takes me a little minute maybe like five to ten minutes to really get it on the way how I want it to but um i take it off at nights and i just took it off and washed it because this morning just the middle piece because i always glue down like the middle piece right there like right here i always kind of and when i say glue it down i mean freezing spray and got to be got, i mean freezing spray is got to be but i use that to kind of just stick it down especially because listen these days be mad windy out here and no way even though the wigs don't be blowing off like that, but no wig is going to blow off on me or nothing is going to be receding or whatever. Because one of the days I had worn it and it, I could see like a little bit of hair right there. And I'm like, um, this is not cute. 
and this is absolutely not what we are doing. So I'm going to freeze and spray this shit on in the mornings and call it a day. So I did just that. I feel like I'm also going from topic to topic, but you know, that's, that's kind of how it works. So um, I take it off at night. So when I came home, I took it off and I washed it because that's also something that I do a lot. All the wigs that I wear are human hair wigs. I don't wear synthetic wigs. I don't think I've ever worn a synthetic wig. Maybe I tried one on before or two, but I've never actually bought one. So um, I like to wash them just the same way how if I come home one night and my hair is mad itchy, I best believe I'm washing it. I like to wash my wigs and in the middle part, like I was saying earlier, I felt like there was a buildup of like concealer because I do put some concealer in the part just to make it look more um scalp-like. So I feel like in the middle part right there, there was like a tiny buildup and what my wig is not going to do is look dirty on my head. We, that is disgusting. So I came home and I washed it out really quickly and sprayed some leave-in conditioner on there. And so tomorrow she's going to be ready to go. I don't even remember where I put it. Second bedroom. So tomorrow it is going to be ready to go. Anyways, I feel like I've been talking a lot. So... This is where I'm going to end the vlog. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one.